Good morning. It's Thursday, January 27, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Of Penicillin and Fruit, and our scripture is 1 Peter chapter 4, where the apostle writes, God has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them well to serve one another. Do you have the gift of speaking? Then speak as though God himself were speaking through you. Do you have the gift of helping others? Do it with all the strength and energy that God supplies. Then everything you do will bring glory to God through Jesus Christ. All glory and power to him forever and ever. Amen. Everything God created is a gift in some distinct way. Special is a word that is usually reserved for something that's a cut above the expected. And anything God gives falls in that cut above category. That includes you, me, and everyone else in creation. It's my belief that each of us is born with spiritual possibilities which God has given and we are to develop in accord with whatever God places in our pathway. The first of these gifts is love, and as we begin cooperating with God's plans and promises, we first accept his offer of salvation, or as John Wesley often reminded the troops, rescue from the wrath to come. Now past that, we are to put our spiritual gifts to work, serving the one who loved us and saved us. As we do this, there's a progression of working in God's vineyard with differing gifts of prophesying or preaching, faith, healing, discernment, and others, and the fruit which the Holy Spirit brings to the body of Christ. Love, joy, peace, gentleness, patience, and more. Uh, You can study passages like Romans chapter 12 or 1 Corinthians chapter 12 or Galatians 5, 16 through 25 for a deeper understanding of spiritual fruit. But what happens if we fail to cooperate with the gifts and the spiritual fruit God expects? Well, just like the analogy Peter and Paul use of spiritual gifts producing spiritual fruit, unengaged gifts make for spiritual fruit bold. Mold is like spiritual gifts unused. The fruit possibilities dry up on the vine and become moldy. I met a man early in ministry when I served as pastor in north central Florida. He was serving on the grounds committee of the church. The first time I met Henry, well, it's not his real name, but it was a real conversation. It was at the back door of the parsonage, he was working on it, in which our family was going to live the following years. In the conversation, I found out he'd been a pastor for just a few months. He was now earning a living with his carpenter skills. I inquired why he wasn't pastoring anymore, and his reply was just three words, couldn't live it. To his credit, I will say that Henry didn't just walk away from the church. He found ways to serve God, even though the gifts and calling of pastoral ministry were there. I never learned the details of, quote-unquote, couldn't live it, but over the years that I knew him, it was sadly clear that something had happened to interrupt the development of fruit production, as his spiritual gifts were left like unused tools on a workbench. Apostle Peter's admonishment to us in today's scripture lesson is to use them well to serve one another. We are to use our spiritual gifts to produce fruit in the life of the body of Christ and be a blessing to the entire world. For you today, you are breathing, aren't you? (laughs) And that's all the sign you need that God gave you spiritual gifts to be used in cultivating spiritual fruit that which God uses to bless his creation. If your fruit is a little moldy because you've been neglecting time in the vineyard, it isn't too late to get busy. You do know that God can take mold and make healing penicillin. So, what will you do with the time you have left? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.